Nicola Sturgeon has been dealt a major blow after a new opinion poll found a majority of Scottish voters do not support the First Minister's plan to hold a second independence referendum in 2023. During an appearance in Holyrood on Tuesday, First Minister Nicola Sturgeon confirmed she will look to hold a second Scottish independence referendum on October 23 next year. The poll would come less than a decade after Scots decisively opted to stay in the 315-year-old union by 55% to 45%. Despite describing the 2014 referendum as a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for separatists, Ms Sturgeon told MSPs the Lord Advocate has approached the Supreme Court and stated the Scottish National Party will stand on an INDIREF2 platform at the next general election if the UK's highest court rejects her plea. However, the First Minister also claimed she has a mandate to request a Section 30 order from Boris Johnson's government after last year's Holyrood elections. Over half of the 129 MSPs in the Scottish Parliament represent anti-union parties, including 64 from the SNP and 7 from the Greens. Her mandate in the 2021 Holyrood election does not appear to have been reflected among voters. An opinion poll conducted by Savanta Comres found just 40% of Scots believe a referendum should be held in October 2023. In comparison, more than half, 53%, told the polling company a referendum should not take place. The survey also gave the no campaign a narrow lead over the independence backing yes side. When undecideds were excluded, the poll showed 51% of Scots would back the union, with 49% intending to vote to sever ties with the UK. John Swinney, Scotland's Deputy First Minister, also caused confusion after he claimed a simple majority in the next general election would give the SNP the mandate to hold a second independence referendum. In a correction post on Twitter, Mr Swinney said, when Gary Robertson asked me about a majority of seats this morning on BBC Good Morning Scotland, I only picked up on majority. Referenda, including de facto referenda at a UK general election, won with a majority of votes nothing else. However, unionists were quick to pounce on Mr Swinney's comments. Pamela Nash, chief executive of the pro-UK campaign group Scotland in Union, said, it took less than 24 hours for Nicola Sturgeon's plan to plunge into confusion although she probably wasn't expecting her top lieutenant to be responsible.